Hello everybody and welcome back to the video. I hope you're all well. Today I'll be giving you a TikTok tutorial on a very viral trend at the moment and it will make your afternoon go just that bit quicker. Before we get into the tutorial, I'd like to say thank you. This is my favourite comment from the last video, so thank you for that. If you haven't checked out my last video, it was really good fun. I filmed it with my brother and go watch it after this one. Now the trend we'll be covering today is called Hal Abek. I think I got that right. And it uses a song by the name Isam Al Najjar. Pronunciation's well off. But yeah, you've probably seen this viral video here. It's pretty cool. It has speed ramps, speed bumps. It's got little glowy effects in it and his hair flickering. It's a very good video. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can do your very own video. Now, if you want, you can spend a few hours doing some fancy editing on the computer or go on a really rubbish app and then do some really clunky videos. Or you can use the free app on the app store, CapCut. CapCut is legendary. You will see at the end of this video, it literally makes the video so much better and it's so easy to use. This isn't a sponsor, don't worry. But if you want to sponsor me, I'm happy to. But the app is really good. As well, I want to shout out Capitan Ebby video his method inspired my method so if you want to see his method i'll leave it in the description and let's get into it so starting off you need to film yourself dancing this needs to be in a good lighted position you can have two lights you can have some natural sunlight to make yourself even prettier but as long as it's got some good lighting it's got a good position so it sees most of your body and obviously when you're dancing you want to be moving one hand keeping one still flinging your hair left and right and jumping up and down so you look cool as film this in tiktok so you can hear the music and dance on the beat then click select cover before you have posted it and screen record that video so there's no watermark on the top or the bottom and once you're screen recorded and you're happy with the video you have made open the app CapCut, import your video and we're ready to rock so you've created a new project and imported your video now you want to scroll to the end of the video and actually delete the watermark they put on it themselves the next thing you want to do is separate the clip audio and the actual audio itself so you want to press add audio clip then click extracted and then click the same video that you just clicked on that will import the same sound and to make sure there's no echo in the clip make sure you mute the clip audio don't worry if the audio clip is a little bit off itself we are going to re-add the clip in tiktok itself so we can actually get onto the for you page better as we're using a trending tiktok sound so as long as it's got the gist of it and then the bass drop is somewhere near you're moving your hands so we are now going to add the overlay the glowing effects in and out the screen to do this you'll need to download the video in the link in the description for some reason for me to say if I had to send it to someone on WhatsApp, but as long as you've downloaded it and it's in your camera roll, once you have downloaded the clip and it's in your camera roll, go back to the editing app and press overlay. Now you now want to add the clip you've just put in and then zoom it so it's covering the whole screen so there's you cannot see a border at all. And then at the bottom of the screen where the overlay is actually was, you want to press that again if you haven't already, and then press filter. Filter will now get rid of all the black background so you have only see the glowy effects going in and out of the screen. As well, you want to mute this clip because it also features the same song as we've been using already and we don't want another echo, so mute it. Next thing you want to do is go to the bass drop, the bit where we start dancing in our clip, okay? So you want to click on the clip, then you click edit at the bottom of the screen, then click split. We're going to split it because we're going to start doing effects in the second half of the video. Once you click the second half of the video, click speed, okay? Then click normal, and then we're going to adjust the speed to whatever you want. I went with 0.6 because I think it's not too fast or not too slow. It's whatever your preference is. Now, if we play our clip, you can actually see the orbs slowing down themselves, and it actually looks really good so far. Whilst we're here as one, if you want to make yourself look prettier, or make the video look more space themed in itself matching the orbs you want to go to filters in the bottom of the screen I like to use the movie filters uh, specifically Dunkirk you want to move the opacity of the clip to whatever you desire again any filter you want but it all looks pretty cool you don't have to have a filter as I say it's up to your preference once you've dragged the filter across the whole of the video we are now going to start on the hardest part of the video okay we're going to now be splitting the video into six or five or six different sections to create our speed bumps so as i say we're going to be spinning on a specific beat this is going to be like the one two three four one two three four an easier much easier way to do it is you see the orbs when they start moving forwards you know that is when the beat changes okay so just before they start moving you want to stop it and split the clip we're going to split it as i say by pressing on the clip and pressing split in the bottom left of the screen Every time the orb moves forward, split, 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 split. Repeat this six times on every single split, five or six times, and we are ready to change the speeds of the clip. Just to reiterate, if you have made a mistake throughout any part of this video, make sure you just press undo. It is really simple. You can undo or redo. Okay, so time to add these screen pumps themselves. Okay, this is going to be moving in and out our actual video itself. We're going to hover over the clip. We're going to change. You want to click animation, then you want to click combo, and then we're going to scroll all the way to the end where you find bounce one. I think the bounce one is the best effect because it actually zooms in and moves the camera a little bit. The duration bar, if you want to add, put the duration bar to the max, that means it's going to zoom in the most. If you want to put it into the minimum, it means it's going to zoom in the least 
put it to wherever you want. But now we're gonna have to do that same step for every single clip, okay? It's gonna have to do that five or six times. It's a little bit tiring, scrolling all the way through to get bounce one. But once you've done that, play the clip through. It looks amazing, honestly, it looks really, really good. Nearly finished now, we're gonna be adding transitions to our clips. To add a transition, you wanna be pressing on the white box and we're gonna to scroll to white flash. White flash is the best, I think, because it fits the trend, but you can also add other effects. Floodlight is also a really good one, but it suits your preference, as I say. Change the duration to whatever you want. With the white flash, I change it to the minimum. To be honest, in terms of aesthetic and epilepsy, I don't actually wanna use the white flash because I do think it looks better without it, but it's whatever you think. The trend uses white flash, I'm gonna be using a white flash. The final effect before we are finished, okay, this is gonna be a little effect at the start of the video just to grab the viewer's attention, is the blurry focus. The blurry Blurry focus is just going to blur it out at the start and then we're going to focus in so the video is normal by the time we start dancing, okay? To add this, all you've got to do is click effect at the bottom of the screen, scroll to blurry focus, it's not very far down, and there we have it. Trim the blurry focus to whatever you want, if you want at the start, at the end of the video, just have it a small bit at the start, just grab the viewer's attention as I say. And now you want to start exporting your video. To export your video, you want to click the top right of the screen and simply export it. You can also export it in different settings as well. Next to that button is a 1080p button, so you can change the resolution. And you can also change the frames per second. I've changed mine to 60 frames per second instead of 30. Doesn't really matter. Once you've exported it onto TikTok, put the trending sound over the video and probably mute the original clip or do it the other way around. As long as the video features the music that we are using for the trend, so you can get on the For You page in the caption. Please tag me at Ben Barwick Zero. I do many tutorials and I love to see everyone's creations after watching these videos. I'd really appreciate it if you do that, so I'd love to take a look. I'll obviously, give it a like and comment for the algorithm. And there we have it, your video is done. I'd really like to thank you for watching this video, guys. Please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. If you have any more TikTok tutorials or more videos you want me to do tutorials on, please leave it down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for 434 subscribers. We are nearly, nearly at 1,000 subscribers. I'd really appreciate it if you could help me along that journey i hope you're all well in these troubling times and these crisis keep smiling keep on tiktok keep doing exercise keep watching my videos i hope you're having a nice day as i say and i'll see you in my next one